If you ever wondered what things cost in Spain, I can show you inside a grocery store here in Valencia, just so you can get an idea of a couple of products they sell there and maybe compare it to the States. This will give you a slight notion of what we spend here. I'm gonna take you to a Spanish grocery store. It's one of their most famous grocery stores. It's called uh, Consum in Valencia. So let's go. These are the grocery bags we use for shopping. They're so convenient. All kinds of nuts, chips, and we get to the best part, the fruit section. We look for the number. One ninety-four. One of the first things when I came to Spain was to find that they have these machines that every grocery store can just squeeze a fresh orange juice and have it on your table every day. And so many different kinds of tomatoes. I love these. How about some organic carrots? All kinds of cans and packaged mussels. And this is the Spanish tortilla. It's very famous. It, they make it out of potatoes and eggs. And sometimes even they put spinach. They're really good. You just cut a little slice and that's the price. And in the morning, you can have it just like that. Say cheese. I buy this a lot. It's so good. They're already spiced. They have little spices on top. Goat cheese. Burrata, mozzarella, blue cheese. I'm even getting some vegan cheese, not from here, but another store. And this is their famous manchero. And of course, always fresh fish. Some prices. But one thing you can find Anywhere else, it's horchata. It's made out of tiger nut and it's so delicious, especially in the summer. It's a milky drink. Valencia is famous for it. Different kinds of coffee. And of course, you can use the regular machine. One thing I've learned from uh, James Blick is that when it says this, this word on the coffee, this it's not 100 percent arabica it is a mixed coffee and you have to look here to find that it's uh, 70 percent natural and then torrefacto 30 percent sort of a sugary coating on top and makes it like taste stronger but for me i would rather have a real coffee it should say 100 percent Arabica. That's how you know. Nothing better than Spanish wine and its prices. So here's everything I got. Cucumbers, tomatoes, some hummus, blueberries, cauliflower, watermelon, avocado, salad, apricot, and the fresh squeezed juice. The only meat I got is the uh, rabbit. I don't think you've been introduced. This, <laughs> this, this rabbit is for Balthazar. He can only eat rabbit and we're so lucky that here in Spain, since they cook their paella with rabbit, this is something that it's uh, not a problem to find at the grocery stores and it's not really expensive. So the orange juice, it's a uh, half a liter for $1.99 and everything else. So all these for $28. 36. Another gorgeous day here in Valencia, Spain, and I'm continuing with my grocery shopping. And I want to take you to one of the biggest, the biggest department stores in Europe, El Corte Inglés. And this is also the third largest department store in the world. Something very impressive about them, they've been established about 80 years ago in Madrid. 
the only one in Spain. And it's very shocking because coming from the States, you know, we're used to having at least one competitor. And that's not the case with El Corte Inglés. And there's nobody standing on their way. Basically, they have the main, the parent company is the department store. They have another one which is called Sfera. It is also a uh, retail sto clothing store. They have three food chains, a home improvement uh, company. They have a financial brokerage company, insurance company. They have a travel agency. They have three subsidiaries in the IT sector. Really a mega company. So I'll take you inside. And I really, the reason I'm coming here is because they have some very interesting products. And I want to try a few products that I never bought before. And I'll let you know my opinion on it. section so I really don't know what I'm gonna find here but it's a whole bunch of a lot yep I just adore this color of rosé some expensive cognacs and wines what of course Marilyn Manson made what? An accent. As you can imagine, with his personality and music. I think I got stuck at the gourmet section. Oh, I'm getting this. And we're going in. I mean, this is my heaven. Olive Landia. I just love shopping here, just the way everything is organized, labeled. I mean, there is certain aesthetic about Port Inglés, the way they display the food. We're in the olive oil section, and the magic happens here. So many different kinds. Incredible. As you expected. Welcome to Spain. Uh, finally, here it is. Okay, I'm ready to try the five different products I bought from El Corte Inglés. And probably the bread, it's the least interesting uh, thing but it's still different because it's um, it's a mixture between um, rye bread and spelt it's a combination of course they have great uh, breads here in spain like in italy and everywhere in europe but this combination i've never tried so it's technically a new product and the blue wine so this it's very interesting wine it is made in spain the company that produced this wine, they're, they're taking their work very seriously. And in Spain, all wines, they have Dominicion de Origin. Oops. <laughs> and um, this wine doesn't. So basically every region is being monitored and it's protected and it's very supervised by a special commission of people experts that are following how uh, the following the quality of the wine in each of the regions. Uh, of course, it's an experimental wine. It is uh, organic. They use grapes from Spain and France. 
and they developed this technology a few years ago. It is an organic dye that they use to color this wine, but the color comes also from the skin of the grapes. They use uh, white and, and uh, red grapes to create this unique color. I'm very curious, never had blue wine. I had green wine in Portugal. I was not impressed with it, it was a little sparkly. Uh, let's see how this one tastes. You ready? Hmm. It has a little bit of a liquor-like taste. It does smell more like a like a liquor, like hmm. interesting. I see it at the party, like to bring a little bit of a flavor. And they said the blue color they picked to create it in blue because the blue is the color of innovation and it creates this dream-like quality. And of course, it's very different from what you expect uh, as a color of wine. And these people are not afraid to experiment. And it's served a little chilled. I really don't know what to pair it with, but I did buy a very special cheese. Well, I did mess up the label, but it doesn't matter. 2017-18 World Cheese Award for Best Spanish Cheese. And as you can see, this company has been producing cheese since 1232. There's, there can't be anything wrong with the bread. I mean, the bread in Spain has always been amazing. The olive oil, I am loving this. So delicious. Ooh. Okay, and cheese time. It is a sheep cheese, so it is strong. I like strong cheeses, I like, I like rich flavors, but I would imagine this would be great if, if there is um, a heavy, uh, full body red wine. I think everything lays in the simple foods. Great wine, great cheese, great bread and chocolate. What else do you want? There's nothing else you need. By the way, these were the most expensive, this was the most expensive part of my shopping. This special kumquats, a very sour, rich in vitamin C fruit, which we enjoy here um, when it's in season. It is very delicious and very sour. And they're dipped in chocolate. So this was about $9.90. These were double packaged. And I should eat them before they melt. Trying kumquats with chocolate, 70% chocolate. Less sour <laughs> when it's with chocolate. I expected more. So from all the things that I bought, surprisingly, this is my least favorite. Like the wine, bread and cheese, for sure. The olive oil, it's amazing. But the chocolates were just okay. I hope you enjoyed my food tasting day today, my gourmet extravaganza. I, uh, I really liked most of the products. These were typical Spanish, maybe, I don't know if how typical, but they're Spanish, original Spanish products. I was impressed by most of them. So if you enjoyed my video, please click like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Ciao.